<laughs> Thank you very much, Quickshot. I am standing with the 80 carry of Giants Gaming. It is Audrey. First of all, congratulations on your victory. You're now three and one. That's the best record you guys have had since re-entering the LCS. Yeah. And I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, your plan, Ezreal. You built the, the very traditional blue build, the Iceborne Gauntlet. Talk to me about the synergy that that has with Pepinero and what you are able to do with it. Uh, yeah, usually people don't build uh, the Gauntlet anymore in Ezreal, but in this game, we talked about we have to kite in team fight. We couldn't like just brawl in. We had to kite backwards, so Gauntlet is a pretty good item to do that. And as well, we needed some kind of CC for Pepe to land his spoke. And that's also the, the job of the Gauntlet, so it was pretty well. It certainly worked very well this game, and as a result of that, as I said, you guys are now three and one. Uh, it seems like things are looking up for Giants Gaming. What, what really changed? What clicked this split that has allowed you guys to get off to this flying start? Uh, last split, we played good mechanically, but we didn't play smart enough. But now with the addition of Gottfried, he makes the calls and like he's confident in it. Uh, he makes us look way smarter. He makes really good calls and rotations. I think that's what clicked the winning streak. Fantastic. I mean, it's great to hear that you're having some fantastic synergy with your support. We already know, you know, with Pepinero as well and the rest of the team is really just looking up. But uh, last question I really want to ask then is specifically about Godfrey. How, how big is his individual impact, you think, and, and how is that affecting the team overall, aside from just the synergy that you have? Uh, well, as a player, he's doing everything great. Like He's landing every skill shot every time. And apart from it, the calls he makes, as, as I said before, are pretty important in the game because it gives the team that uh, brain we needed before. Like People who saw us in the last split always say that we weren't playing smart, we were dumb. But I don't think they can say that anymore. Our rotations are good. Certainly not. You guys are, are off to a fantastic start. And all the best to you. Congratulations once again on your win. Audrey, thank you very much for joining me. Now, we're going to go ahead and send it back to the analyst desk to break that one down. Shox and Crepo, take it away. Thank you very much, Audrey, there after another victory. Always feisty in interviews, and I like it because they have the goods to back it up. I love that he says we're smarter about the game in the game, rotation-wise, but also draft-wise. Um, as the draft was going, said, okay, this is a little from both sides. We don't know where they're going, but Giants coming out with a clear plan to shut down the, the specific things in SK. The first pick, Evelyn, just building their comp to a nice hole. Yeah, they stole away the, uh, Evelyn from Svenskren, and then in addition to that, they went for this pokey composition. What I liked from the composition that in addition to playing a mid lane poke champion on the Kog'Maw, they, their AD carry also fulfilled that role. So more poke damage coming out, not a single poke threat, double risky to play into hard engage, but they bounced around that very well. What seemed like a little too invested in the poke with then a split pusher all of a sudden, but they made it work. And this is why people ban Jax against Whirlup. Fantastic performance. And he was basically the cornerstone of this composition. Got them to the mid game and allowed enough breeding room for these two poke champions to come out swinging. Yeah, it's quite interesting that even when he was playing the Maokai, it seems like it always slipped through, uh, slipped through there and he was able to get it on his hands again with the Jax. But then it has to translate in game. SK Gaming, last pick for the mid lane Zed. So after a slow early game, the question is, when will the Jax be stronger than the Zed and how do you adapt your play? Yeah, SK answered with their fifth pick, Zed, and Zed always introduces a split push component to your lineup. No, you don't have to use Zed as a split pusher, but that is his main talent, that's his main goal. So this game basically revolved who is going to win that split push. And as we saw, and we have a replay of that as well, that we can get on your screen right now. Eventually, Whirlip, he came out on top, and we have this duel right here. Fox thinks he can take the better of it. Whirlip jumps in, ultimate comes out, but then here the counter strike is so vital. Fox can no longer attack anymore, gets stunned. Dennis a dash out, but at this point, he's gone. And good, good flash from Fox with a react flash from Whirlib. And the split push is now one. And now SK has to alter their strategy. They can no longer rely on their split push component because next time they fight, it will be even more snowballing. Whirlib get ahead. So they were forced into fights. Yeah, exactly. They decided to group and go for it. But then you have to play those fights extremely well. And at that point, it just came to fruition that the Kog'Maw was getting fed, uh, getting fed, getting ramped up. The Ezreal was getting ramped up. And just in those fights, it was too late uh, for SK as well. We have a replay showing that as well. As two giant testament as well, they played that very good. And this is what Audrey said. We got smarter at this game. They recognized that SK was now grouping and looking for this fight. They landed some initial pokes. SK, they didn't want Jax to go for that tower, so they engaged. But here, Fox is going on a support, doesn't even kill him immediately. Burlip TPs in, takes out Fox. Ultimate misses from Svensko, and at this point, it's cleanup duty for the entire Giants lineup. Freddy barely gets any damage off, as Quickshot pointed out as well. Low on damage, no longer the steady Freddy of yore. And beautiful execution from, from Giants here. They recognize what SK is doing. 
TP comes in in time, no hesitation. They win with their split push component. They win with their poke component. They don't fall prey to the hard engages. Even if Sven screen lands an ultimate, it goes at best one for one, perhaps one for two. They stay in the game and Giants, they're, they're settling in as a middle of the pack tier team right now, uh, beating the likes of Elements, Copenhagen Wolves, and now SK Gaming. Bit unexpected. Yeah, absolutely. And I feel that that should be, Audrey did say, hey, we'll make it to Worlds. We don't want to go that far, but when you're setting the middle of the pack team, which is looking at, that should actually be their goal now, looking at last uh, split's results for them. And that is working out. One last thing maybe about SK Gaming. As we said, it's just a repetition of the things we had said, Sven Skeren. Although I feel like he was pushed into the Sejuani. He landed a couple of nice ults, but also with Freddy in there, the Zed didn't really work out. It's just nothing is, is, is going off. Yeah, I think SK, uh, need, they need to recognize that they're no longer si uh, single-handedly mechanically outplaying their opponents. Neither lane does it. Fox got ahead early. He did well in. He got some pressure in. That's what I wrote down as well. He roamed bottom once. Didn't lose his middle tower. Got that kill. He had some pressure around the map, but it wasn't enough. You said before, Fox was playing well. I think he was one of the better players on the ASK gaining lineup, but they need to all start playing better and then start working as a team because it's looking grim right now. Yeah, we'll see where that goes. But for Giants, congratulations. Another win for them. And as we speak, the Unicorns of Love and Rocket are taking the stage for our very next matchup. We'll be back with our continuing coverage in just a few minutes. Should I play Snowstorm or Wardens here? Uh, Snowstorm. Wardens. Snowstorm. 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 I want Snowstorm. Snowstorm, I I'm have a cowboy. As well. You have to be a Snowstorm. <laughs> doesn't make any sense. But... Exactly. Man, that oh, Sven Skerry gets poked down oh. with the artillery. Oh, 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 oh. Shot. That's a very good equalizer once more from Freddy and Whirlip. Has already got himself a kill. Taken Fox up. Everyone is going to die. Woo, 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 woo. They have given up a killer. That's a great glacial prison. Giants all of a sudden may have bitten off more than they can chew. Giants 3-1 and one in the summer split.